So let's talk DJI Osmo Pocket 4, starting with the sensors, the most exciting part for anyone who loves quality footage. You might have heard that Omnivision announced a new camera sensor recently, the OV50R40. It's designed with smartphones and action cameras in mind, and it looks like it could play a role in the next Osmo Pocket. From what we know, the Pocket 4 will likely have dual cameras. The main sensor should stay at one inch, which makes sense because DJI wouldn't want to downgrade that. Low light performance and cinematic quality are part of the appeal. The OV50R40 might serve as the secondary sensor, sitting around 1 over 1.3 inches. Its high 50 megapixel resolution and in-sensor zoom could allow for a lossless 2 times or 3 times zoom, so you could crop into an image without losing too much detail. That means it might function like a telephoto or mid-range lens, similar to what smartphones do with secondary high megapixel cameras. This sensor's fast HDR readout could be great for bright daylight scenes while also helping with higher res stills and reframing options in post. If the Pocket 4 does end up offering 8K recording, it's probably coming from this secondary sensor. Meanwhile, the 1-inch sensor would still handle low light and cinematic shots. The Pocket 3 already does 4K at 120 frames per second on its 1-inch sensor, so it's likely the new Pocket could keep that capability, and maybe even push it further if the hardware allows. For the screen, we might see a 2.2 to 2.5 inch rotatable OLED touchscreen, possibly with a secondary rear display for selfies. And yes, Hasselblad color science seems to be part of the package. That would mean videos and photos could come out with Hasselblad calibrated colors right from the camera, while still letting you pick other profiles like D-Log M, HLG, or Vivid if you want. On the stabilization and tracking side, we're probably looking at ActiveTrack 7.0 with AI improvements plus the three-axis gimbal. Audio could come from omnidirectional stereo mics with DJI mic 2 and 3 support, and the battery might last up to 3 hours. It's expected to be a bit heavier than the Pocket 3, but still very compact. Before we go further, if you love keeping up with the latest tech, hit that subscribe button. We're going to be diving into leaks, rumors, and hands-on insights for devices like this all year. As for launch, sources suggest late 2025, and next year the competition is going to be fierce, with Oppo, Vivo, Xiaomi, and even GoPro likely releasing their own alternatives. That's a quick look at what we might see with the DJI Pocket 4. Things are still coming together, but if these leaks and rumors hold up, it's shaping up to be a serious little powerhouse. Stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.